Lawmakers are now one step closer toward the ratification of the BBL or Bangsamoro Basic Law. That's after they ironed out another key issue in the proposal. That's the management of inland waters in the region. Manlos Banyos has the rest of the story. Senator Mig Subiri, who's the co-chairman of the Bicameral Conference Committee, was hopeful that he'll be able to sign the Bangsamoro Basic Law at around 3 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. The day that God has made for all of us, especially for Mindanao, uh, although it is a rainy day, uh, it is sunny in Mindanao, and uh, we look at it as a sign that finally uh, we will be able to end this long, drawn problem of conflict in the island of Mindanao. But halfway through the day, the BICOM suspended their meeting to hold an executive session with the members of the Bangsamoro Transition Commission. This was after the BTC aired concerns over the repeated use of the term national laws in some provisions in the BBL. The BTC insisted there isn't a need to do so since they're being faithful to the 1987 constitution. Ang proposal doon sa BBL, yung parliament ng Bangsamoro Kapag gagawa siya ng uh, batas, uh, dapat hindi babangga doon sa una sa saligang batas ng Pilipinas. At yun ay sangayong kami, 100%. After a lengthy discussion with the BTC behind closed doors, lawmakers gave in to deleting the term in Article 5, Section 2, which pertains to the powers to be given to the Bangsamoro government. Senator Zubiri said they understand the concerns of the BTC. He just wanted to make sure that the bill doesn't contradict the 1987 constitution. They have to sell this document to the people of the Bangsamoro. Um, they are ticklish on the issue that we continuously mention the word national laws in each and every paragraph, in each and every article. So we agreed just to have one uh, provision, general provision. The BICAM and BTC have also agreed on the provision dealing with Lake Lanao, which is a very important source of hydroelectric power in Mindanao. The BTC originally wanted the Bangsamoro government to have exclusive powers over the lake and other inland waters. But in the end, they compromised to a co-management with the national government and equal shares in profits. We are satisfied, 100 percent, as a result of the caucus. So, do you think it's going to end, sir? Do you think it's going to end? We hope that it's going to end. If there are no hiccups like this one, then I think we can finish by today. But some groups outside the BTC appealed to President Duterte to help fix what they call diluted provisions in the BBL, among which is the provision on inland waters. Sa ating Presidente, na makialam na po kayo. Mr. President, mayroon po kayong responsibilidad na ituwid ang BBL dahil pinangako mo nung eleksyon at hanggang ngayon na ibibigay mo yung Bangsamoro Bisiklo. Lagi mong sinasabi, Mr. President, na yung natural resources ng Bangsamoro ay para sa Bangsamoro at hindi po kayo makikialam. Should the BICAM finish the final version of the BBL this week, the final copy will be ratified by the Senate and the House in the morning of July 23, mere hours before the President addresses the nation. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, we are One News.